Thomas Jefferson High School, Seeds. Hi, we are Thomas Jefferson. I'm Davion Todman. I'm Katie Morgan. I'm Maria Ramirez. I'm Nick Davis. Shauna Bear. Devonna Lyons. Samantha Campos. And I'm Rude Dejeni. The challenge we chose to do was presented to us by Kristen Toby. This challenge was to leverage underutilized resources in our community to create a place where we could come together in the interest of creating a healthier food environment for our school. We are SEEDS. The acronym SEEDS stands for Spreading and environmental education and developing seeds. Our mission is to promote healthy eating habits and lifestyle change through urban gardening and nutritional awareness. 23% of children living in Colorado are overweight or obese, as well as one in three American children. The number of students who qualify for free or reduced lunches is 72%. We we have partnered with Home Elementary School who has a high free and reduced lunch rate of 70% of their students and they do not have a community garden. We decided to take action on this issue by creating a healthier environment for younger students. We are going to do this by targeting healthier eating, obesity, and gaining nutritional values. We have created a garden club at home and not only are we teaching them about how to live a healthy lifestyle, but also how to grow and regrow their own vegetables. We believe it's important to educate our youth about why it's important to live a healthy lifestyle. We did this by going to Holm Elementary School and conducted several activities in regarding a healthy lifestyle, including planting, exercise, worksheets, and teaching students about plant anatomy. We also left each student with an actual plant that they could take home and start their very own garden. We are planning to expand to lots of different elementary schools around Southeast Denver, like Bradley, Samuel, Southmore, and many more. In addition to our feeder school and surrounding schools, we also plan to make several key community partners, such as Lowe's, who has already been a key to our nutrition and gardening classes we recently taught at Home Elementary. Denver Urban Garden, who will also assist us in developing our community garden at TJ and our feeder schools. Whole Foods is already a key partner with DPS with their backpack food program, and hopefully will assist us in teaching nutrition classes throughout our community. Finally, we have recently reached out to the Civic Canopy Organization, which specializes in building stronger neighborhoods and healthier communities. In sustaining, in sustaining this project, we will also seek help from various PTAs from all of the schools involved to ensure our community is maintained in the summer. At Thomas Jefferson, we have a green club that will be vital coming forward and special needs students who are work study track towards their diploma. We'll have a few summer jobs available for them through SEATS. Our long-term goals include working with all the parties that we have mentioned to eventually create a community-driven farmer's market in TJ's parking lot. We're going to use the sports fields, which are otherwise unused during the summer, and we are going to utilize Thomas Jefferson student athletes to volunteer as a part of their community outreach responsibilities and teaching youth community members about sports and maybe teach them some new crafts. So that way, while mom and dad are at the farmer's market, the youth will be out playing with our students and learning new things so that they can take that home and take it back to school with them and spread what they know. Also, this will assist in our project of not only changing mindsets, but also being healthier and getting kids out 60 minutes a day and being active. With this, we have used social media as a huge part of spreading our word. We have an Instagram page that right now has 50, 50 followers, and through our Facebook page, we have reached over 700 people. This is not limited to Colorado, and that is one thing that we have grown upon. Um, through the nation, we, our page has spread to states including but not limited on Ohio, Texas, West Virginia, and Illinois. Not only this, but our page has, has spread outside of the nation. Our page has been used by people in Ethiopia, UK, Norway, and, um, and um, sorry, Colombia. Um, this is a key aspect, and we have used it to help educate people, not only in our community, but outside of it, to make a larger impact. So as you can see, seeds is much more than small granules thrown in a garden. More importantly, it is also planting seeds of education into the minds of our community. We would like to thank Aspen Institute, Boise's family, and Foundation. 
Thank you to the DPS and for their support. DJ. <laughs> Thank you very much. There is no team on deck, which means for the judges, this is their last Q&A of this section. Please, again, stay in your seats for just a moment after this so that I can make a few announcements uh, that will matter to you. Judges, three minutes. Great. So I was happy to hear that some of the work you're doing is actually spreading outside of the U.S. What do you think contributed to that? Um, I think a major part of what contributed to that is the way that we advertise and the way that we got out. All of us, we went home, we promoted our Facebook page as much as, as much as possible. We had people talking about it. And we all have friends and family who live outside of um, the nation, so we really, really targeted them to share our page. Um, I love how you guys are using so, you know, work-study uh, programs, because uh, there's a lot of kids on that track, I know at TJ. Um, and you were talk to, talking about being able to pay some of those kids for summer jobs. Where does that money come from? Um, that money is coming from a foundation that we're hoping to partner with, but also there is a club that's on here that we're partnered with called Garden of Youth, and they already are working with it, and Unified is a really big thing in our school, and I know a lot of kids go to the Unified game, so those kids are supported. They oftentimes don't even ask for payment, they just like being put to work. Great, thank you. Uh, thank you much, and, and I too really appreciate you incorporating um, all of your community in this because you guys have a really special community, as all our schools do. Um, love that you're reaching out to your elementary feeder schools. Have you guys thought about um, the vertical relationship with your middle schools, particularly Hamilton, and how you might think about incorporating them? Um, well, home is right next to Hamilton, and we are have been talking about partnering with them. The one day when we did go to home, uh, we were outside and we right across from Hamilton and I definitely know we were talking about working with it, um, them, but I believe we did have a little interaction with middle schoolers. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, we definitely did. We definitely want to get middle schoolers involved. So not only that, because then when they come to TJ, they'll want to be involved with seeds and so that they can help with the greenhouse and the garden that we're actually redoing at TJ for this program. And we also want to create a strong foundation starting with elementary schools and hopefully in the years to come we can expand to a stronger and more uh, wider type of selection for uh, different schools. So if a student has interacted with your group, what would you like the outcome to be? How do you like their, what would you like them to do that's changed? Um, one thing that has really stuck out to me is we've been going over lesson plans with elementary school teachers and, and things like that and we've realized that not too much about living a healthy lifestyle is put into our education system and so we really do want to enforce the important or like sh show the importance of what you know vegetables and like growing and all of that can actually contribute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.